And to pick up where we left off in the funny story department, Judy, I remember one that Gordon Jenkins and yourself were involved in. Oh, when he lost the bat, huh? No. No, well, the one in London. Oh, when he was introduced? When he was introduced. Oh, my dear. At a very formal <laughs> oh, well, party. Tell him. I know it's terribly uh, formal. Tell her that. Well, it, it was a press reception in uh -huh. London, and Gordon hadn't been to London before. Gordon Jenkins is such a, a fine... General, but he just had yeah. not been to London. And uh, they asked uh, him to come to this great press reception. It was awfully dignified. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, they announced uh, Mr. Stand and Mrs. Yeah. So and so and mm -hmm. so. And I was at the bottom of the stairs. And, mm -hmm. and it so happened that Gordon was already there when I got there. So, uh, but, but he did have to, he found himself needing a men's room. <laughs> and instead of asking another, Anyone else, he asked the announcer of the names, you know, who was just hooting through this megaphone, different names. He went up to this English man with the boots and tailcoat and so forth and said, where is the men's room? And the man didn't get the difference, just announced, Mr. Men's Room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that Gordon still blushes every time we remind him <laughs> he of He ran it? out of that building. <laughs> Miss Judy Garland, it has been so much fun. I can't tell you how I've enjoyed our little session together. I'm sure our listeners to Guard Session will appreciate our bringing one of the world's greatest entertainers to their loudspeakers. It's been a great pleasure, and thank you very much. A word here now for the National Guard, and then back again for another number for Miss Garland. All right. <laughs> 